13 are obligated to provide uh, their mental and physical labor to the state in return for their lives. Security and sentence provided by the state. The state is obligated to entitle citizens who abide to this constitutional act, such as uh, as shock workers, heroes of Tropico. Happy childhood, late retirement, normal life expectancy, and job happiness. All citizens who reach the age of 16 are obligated to provide their mental and physical Blah, 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 blah. Workers' paradise, early retirement, high job happiness. And they have the right to leave at age 60. Uh, I like the sound of workers' paradise. We'll see. Maybe we'll have to. Citizenship, immigration, visa program, more educated immigrants. Only persons who happen to uniformly find themselves not citizens of Tropico, but have an educational degree in any foreign school, college, institute, lyceum, cemetery, university, or academy are admitted to settle within the borders of the state. Open borders, easy to immigrate. Persons who happen to be unfortunate and find themselves not citizens of Tropico are admitted freely to the state within the borders of the state, so long as they observe the goodwill of El Presidente. Guarded heaven, regulated borders, hard to immigrate. All persons who uh, happy who happen. All right, uh, sorry everyone. Um, we just had uh, a little incident. I realized that I had um, not been recording for the past little while which is uh, no good. In fact, it's probably been a good 10 minutes or so. Uh, so let me just fill you in with what happened. Um, we did manage to win the election. Um, well, there was an election. I can't remember if that was happening when uh, the recording ended, but I won it with 60% because I built this police station, which everybody was super stoked about. Uh, we've gone on, we've researched the tank. We're about to finish building this army base. Um, we finished our rum distillery. And uh, other than that, we're just making lots of money and doing pretty good. See, our approval rating is boosted up to like 60%. And uh, let's finish our other army base. And I need two new fishing wars like because... Adriana, lady president. She is never nice to me. She calls me names like Baboon and does not like my plans, even when they are bound to work. For example, I propose to use a fisherman fleet to lay mines in our waters, and she just laughed at me. What will we do, Presidente? What will we do? Uh, we'll build your fishing. Dwarfs. But, uh, looks like I'm going to have to take a quick break from Tropico, but hopefully we'll, well be back soon. Hello there, oh. old pal. America is all gloomy and doomy at the moment. I can't have that. If there's one thing I can't abide, it's mopery. You must take immediate action, blah, 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 blah. Sure. Why not? Anyway, uh, so we'll be back soon, and until that time, this has been Distanlator, signing up for now. And you guys take care. Okay, everyone, uh, we're back for a little bit of Tropico action. Uh, but before I begin, I need to uh, read something from my Facebook page. Uh, this comment on uh, my trip, my post for Tropico 2 on my Facebook page, comes from uh, Daniel Scafta, Scaf Scafte, something like that. He says, I have to admit, I was raging pretty hard through most of the first and second episodes. You aren't deporting foremen. You didn't use the trade system until you were specifically told to. You aren't sending soldiers to explore the fog, although you explore the island automatically when, research, when you research Compass. 
the fog blocks all deposits from your view, so you could be sitting on four bi 400 billion barrels of oil and never know it. Um, to which I say, and uh, somehow I won. And that just proves El Presidente's brilliance. But uh, I feel like I've remedied most of that, except I didn't. I, I'm not appointing managers or foremen or whatever. So I guess I'll hire some. But, uh. Sure, there you go. And I'll hire one here. And, uh, yeah. Well, I guess I got a couple more. I guess. Or just randomly place them wherever. There you go. And, uh, remove them as, as needed. Yeah, I've cleared up plenty of hydro space this time, so we should be okay. A glorious invention, Presidente. Electricity. It's like organized lightning. There's no better way to put it. And you can make your own with a balloon and a little friction. Just like making fart noises. Okay. None of my, none of my men are building anything. Our brave negotiator was so convincing that Congress has decided to repeal the prohibition. <laughs> oh, actually, that that hurts us because that means like selling. Rum at normal prices. Oh well. So I, I think I got a uh, confession for everybody listening right now. And um, that is, I uh, I think I'm getting bored with uh, politics. It's it's crazy. I know, I've been like such a political junkie for such a long time. Oh crap, I forgot to build a road there. Well, oh, there's another really terrible looking square. <laughs> but, um, there's an election going on in uh, um, Ontario. Uh, the biggest province in Canada, and I just, I like, couldn't care less about it. I just am so disinterested in what's going on. Maybe it's like a particularly boring election or something, but it's just like, I just total snooze fest. The order has its contacts everywhere, Presidente. Leon Kane, our mentor, introduced me to some shady characters residing on Ilo Rojo that might just help our cause. Oh, yes. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, wow, I gotta... Again, crap ton of money. And a bunch of new civilians. But yeah, I, I, I just I haven't been really following. Um, I don't know what's going on. I remember last time there was election in 2012. Oh no, sorry, 2011. And I was just like, riveted with everything that was going on. And and uh, so tuned in to, what, to this uh, election. This time it's just... I don't understand. It, why are people unhappy with their life in Tropico? Send in the army. This time, oh my god, we're sending in the tanks to kill them. Here is our latest scientific data. 
foreign diplomats are 45% more prone to agree with us if our diplomats fart less often, or if they at least stink less. As a part of a cross-group study, we also found that 33% of foreign diplomats do not like belching at the table. Finally, a staggering 95% have indicated that they have a very negative opinion of our diplomats singing the national anthem while standing on the top of the table naked. <laughs> Who would have thought? Well, I am interested to meet those 5% of diplomats. Yeah, that's right. Don't, don't you dare cross El Presidente. Or guess what? He sends in the tanks. Sorry. Um. Uh, these guys are going to live next to the army bases. Uh, there are worse places to probably live. Holy shit. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, what can I do? I should I should probably build some. Uh... Oh my god! I just can't build squares. Why am I exploring well, for, there, oh, for this pal. guy? Oh yes, I'm just gonna build some clinics. No, oh, maybe I should modernize some of these houses. I completely used up all the space here, so guess what? No, nothing's being built anymore in the heart of Tropico. So I decided to pay, place three military fortresses really in inconspicuously. But yeah, but sorry, back to the election I was talking about. I, I Maybe this is just like a particularly boring election, but maybe it's like uh, there's some kind of weird shift in my attitudes going on, just shift in what is his, um, you know, shift in things that I'm wanting to spend my time uh, investing in and spend my thought process thinking about. But uh, to be fair, I was really riveted when the Quebec election came around, but Quebec politics is just so naturally interesting to me because it's like completely and totally foreign. Can't tell which way is the front. That way it looks like the front. At least we're not getting charged as a ridiculous tax for everything. God, they're just dumping new new people on me all the time. General Penultimo has hatched yet another plot to delay our enemies. 
his keen military intelligence has determined that we should get all of them drunk. Frankly, I'm not sure why you keep this buffoon around. You're not you're not going forward with this ridiculous idea, are you? Absolutely. What kind of upgrades should I be thinking about? President, I have information that a great war will start soon. We must be prepared. Even if I'm wrong, we should still prepare ourselves. Then we can start the war ourselves. I can find a place on my ridiculously shaped roads. My career as a weatherman is over. I promised everyone a warm and sunny day. And now no. we have a tornado on the island. Well, it looks like the only thing that's going to kill are the poor, poor ranchers. Our research team developing new materials was wondering why this steel girder kept getting bigger and bigger until it hit them. They will be missed. Okay. Ila Rojo troops are attacking you. I am back in the game. I can now accurately predict rains of cattle, shack, and furniture across the entire island. Here is the damage report. Oh, we only killed six people this time. Twister contest will have to be postponed. Ironically, because there is a twister at the beach. Stay safe, everyone. All right, I think we're pretty much ready for these guys. Why are we losing so much uh, happiness? Ah. Uh. I guess I should put the religious facility down. Put the real church right next to the barracks. Oh, that's probably why. Crime safety has gone down. The order has its contacts everywhere, Presidente. Good job! It didn't have any effect whatsoever, and the country is still officially in a state of depression. But the effort is very much appreciated. In fact, the fruit market crashed as well. More foreign trade, more government spending. Military solution. Um, what I really want is I want to build another police station so people aren't up in arms.
Hmm. Sorry, guys. You will be relocated to a newer and more uh, appealing place on the island. time. No, oh, we'll wait till the two barracks are finished, and then uh, I think we're going to call the invasion. I think we're ready to go. Trading anything? Oh, yeah, I don't think I just. The Illuminati High Council held its usual drawing of lots to decide who has to die to kick off the Great War. The winner is Franz Ferdinand, and he wasn't too uh, thrilled about it. Bookmakers are telling about are taking bets on who will be the lucky assassin. I'll participate as well. Select a dining dynasty member who will attempt to wow, attempt to murder Franz Ferdinand. I don't know. She'll go do it. All right. But while she's doing that, the order has its contact. We're ready to go. We'll just save in case things turn terribly, terribly wrong. Military? Good God! That seems a tad harsh and not Hold at on. all democratic. One second. By golly, let's try it. All right. I'll have. Uh, Oh, apparently we're continuing for a little while longer because uh, you may as well build two extra squadrons of tanks.
Ah, I miss the jolly old days when the little people knew their proper places and respected their superiors up to the Lord himself. Yeah, no, it's not going to happen. Ah. I've built you guys, a, or I'm in the process of building you guys a church. Six open jobs. Wow. All right, well, come on, let's finish the building of this so we can fight that invasion. Ferdinand is going to Serbia. All would-be assassins will have to try to get him while he is there. Hmm, okay. That was some brilliant politics. All of our problems should be solved now. Except that for some strange reason, they aren't. My counselors think that the problem, <laughs> problem with the people is fear of fear itself. They must stop doing that. Uh, we need someone to explain that to them. Can you send one of your experts? I'm a Senate penultimo. I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> Americans no longer fear fear itself. They fear penultimo. They are glad he's not living there. I am glad penultimo is not living here either. Every day I thank my lucky stars. Penultimo is not here. It's a great time to be a diplomat. Everyone is running left and right trying to get allies for the Great War. Banquets and lavish gifts are becoming part of my daily routine. All right. Okay, we're calling the invasion. Rojo troops. The order can buy you no more time, Presidente. Just as Leon Kane foresaw, the invaders from Ila Rojo will soon attack. I think we're going to do okay. As the infantry and what I'm so glad that there is a new church on the island. Jesus taught us many important things like surfing and turn the other cheek. I often disregard that last rule and punch the guy instead, but I always feel guilty afterwards. Well, I don't know why my that all you got. How exactly do I set priorities for my men to attack? Riding on the winds of change. Man, I didn't even need my horde of tanks to beat these guys. Charge! My Valiant Tropic and Infantry was able to face them off. 
we're coming for you. Charge! You and Adriana defeated the would-be conquerors. It was nice to see you getting along so well. Once again, you've proven yourself as a valuable asset to the Order. I've never doubted your success, Presidente. I see great virtues for both you and Adriana. Alright, well, next one. But We'll just start the next one. And then we gotta wrap this up. War is a terrible thing. It costs far too much and achieves far too little. The Order tried to stop it before with reason, or politics, and money, but failed every time. To change the world, we need something stronger. We need fear. A new superweapon must be created, one so destructive that the threat of its mere existence will put an end to all war. There is only one man that can help us realize this plan. The brilliant Abraham Zweistein. I must smuggle him out of that little country where I hide all of my money. <laughs> all right. Well, uh... my young apprentice, it has come to my attention that the brilliant scientist Dr. Abraham Zweistein has fled Germany and is hiding in Switzerland. My agents informed me that the Axis is developing its own super weapon and desperately want him back. We've just had a oh. new entry in our most annoying sound in Tropico tournament from the newly constructed lumber mill. As you know, I'm the reigning champion with this sound. <coughs> Try to top that, lumber mill. Okay, that was weird. Anyway, um, the Swiss being resourceful, quick-witted people will give it to the highest bidder. However, the price they want is so ridiculously high, it would be cheaper to buy the whole country instead. I've always taught you to think big, and this is exactly what we will do. Wow, generate enough money to buy Switzerland. Okay, well, are we still in the colonial era? I don't know. No, we're not. Okay, anyway, so I want to thank you guys for watching. This has been Just Downlander. Signing off for now, and until next time, you guys take care.